evening everybody i'm out here on lake chesden my local lake that i fish a lot haven't been here in a while came here a few times last time was probably early april uh and it is mid-may now so been at the river the last few times because i had had a rash of skunks out on this lake so i'm trying to break the streak of that here this year and uh yeah it's seven something probably about 7 30 right now the there's still a lot of boat traffic out here you can probably hear all the boats there's when i pulled up to the ramp it was very very busy because it's a saturday evening and the water's 77 degrees so people are out it is the beginning of summer here so i'm i'm here with the plan of fishing into the night so we will see what happens if uh if i am able to catch anything i'll use my phone to film like I did when I was down at uh, Smith Mountain Lake a few videos ago building the dock and we will we'll just see what happens I got the drone with me which you already saw some of and yeah we'll uh we'll get some good sunset shots here shortly when the sun starts going down and we're just gonna fish have fun Well, I just uh, threw my buzz bait way out into the water over there. <laughs> my uh, line apparently got frayed or something, because that is a pretty, uh, there was a nice snap when it actually fractured. I don't know how well that shows up on camera with it being this line. Hopefully you can see it. All right, that, uh, that was a catastrophic failure. Good thing I bought another one. I just don't have it on the boat with me because I don't know why. I have this big box full of spinner baits and buzz baits, but I've only got a couple uh, buzz baits in here, so I guess I'll tie this one on. See what happens. <laughs> I think that's the first time I have ever had, well, it's actually not the first time I had that happen. I actually had that happen here last year with a, uh, but it's just a worm. Um, just a Texas rig that I have no clue what happened, but something similar where it just kind of flew off and went flying. I think right after I had tied a new, right after I'd like switched cause I'd tied a new, new hook and tungsten weight and all that good stuff on it. So, whatever, moving on. I think something might have just swiped at it. I saw swirls right when I bumped into a reed. I don't know if it was just this buzz bait trying to come around around that grass or something just swiped at it and missed. I couldn't tell. I'm fishing um, I'm fishing all these grassy points which is predominantly where I have caught fish on this lake caught a few that were not on grassy points or at least along grass these grassy weed edges but that is that is a big portion of the pattern on this lake at least as far as I have figured it out have caught honestly probably probably zero fish that were on anything other than grass or lily pads that big Big, big fish that I caught last year was off lily pads, lily pads and grass. Um, but I have caught none, none off docks or offshore, or there's a few riprap areas, which is just rocky, you know, rocky points or rocky shorelines. Not a lot of that on this lake. And I have not caught anything on any of those, pretty much all weed lines like this. So that's why I, 
pretty much any time you see me fishing this this lake that's what i'm that is what i'm starting with typically occasionally i start and try and work docks just to try and catch a fish off a dock there's plenty of docks but i've not caught one off a dock yet guys what I tell you look at this slab two pounds 11 ounces yeah baby it's a good fish it's a little bit about a pound smaller than the last one I was literally on the phone with my wife. She called me to ask if I caught any fish yet and to let me know she put the kids to bed and wanted to know if I was coming home soon. <laughs> I had the phone on speaker sitting down on the floor of the boat. <laughs> and I think the second cast after I answered the phone, I got one on that buzz bait that I had, that I tied on earlier. So I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm not going home yet, baby. Two pounds, 11 ounces, let's go. All right, just got home. Did not catch any more fish, uh, but it is, it is late, it's about 10.30. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a super short video if I just ended here, so I'm gonna say see you in the morning and come up with something to finish this video out for tomorrow. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I could never catch him. <laughs> He's like chasing that little cardinal. Why? Oh, he's on. Why is he trying to chase the cardinal? I don't know. He probably wants the cardinal to be a snack. It's no, he's not eat. <laughs> Bunnies aren't carnivores, crazy. Look at me. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he's on my bike. It's so cute. Yeah, maybe we make go. a home for him. There's a Hey, what do you think about making a home for a buddy? What do you think about making a home for a buddy? Or a nest? How about we make a nest for him? Well, yeah, he's we... probably got a home somewhere, baby. What? Yeah. Let's pet him. What? Maybe he has a home in our yard. Maybe he wants to live in that little hole in me. Maybe. Maybe he wants mm. to lay his eggs in there. Franklin, his little nose. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I can see him. He's so fast. Look. Look, he's by your shoes. <laughs> he's by our solo stove. <laughs> yeah, they found it. They found it. He's kind of like Thump Brittany. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can feed some carrots. No, Maybe we can leave some carrots outside for him to eat. Oh, look. He's <laughs> doing where we play. I think he's looking at us. <laughs> 